Israelites deviation from the right path. At the time when Israelites were living in Egypt and Pharaoh had complete control over them, Moses promised that after Pharaoh's death, he would bring them a book from the unique God to guide them to the right path. So God sent him a revelation through which he was commanded to go to the Sinai Mount and stay there for 30 nights so that he would receive the heavenly book. Therefore, Moses turned to his brother, Aaron and said, You, Aaron, my brother, you have to take over in my absence and take the charge of guiding people. Preach to them on the right path and do not let them be a follower of the corrupt and the wicked. Aaron replied, Sure, I shall do just what you said. Thus Moses left the Israelites and went to a place where he was supposed to communicate with his beloved God. There he started praying for ten more nights, after which the great God sent him this revelation. Thou, Moses, I have appointed thou to be my prophet on the earth. Thus thou shalt transfer whatever thou learnest from me to the people. Thou may find all kind of advice in these tablets we have granted thou, so take this to thy folk to practice the best of them. So Moses came back to his people after forty nights while he had the tablets on which divine verses had been carved. But when he returned back to his people, he found them busy worshipping his statue. He threw the tablets on the ground and said to his brother, You, Aaron, what did you do with these people? Aaron replied, Dear brother, they turned away from my words and whatever I have preached to them, and meanwhile, Samaritan made a statue of a calf from the people's gold and invited them to worship it. He said that was their God and the God of Moses. Moses said, Why did you let Israelites deviate from the right path? Why did you not prevent them? Aaron said, Dear brother, don't be furious at me and do not put the blame on me, for these people regarded me as a weak person and did not pay any attention to my words. They even intended to kill me. Moses said, Don't you see how they have gathered round the calf and dance and how they turn from the God who has saved them? Aaron said, They decided to kill me and I was somehow afraid because I did not want you to come back and tell that I have caused division among the Israelites. Following this, Moses went to Samaritan and reproached him severely. Then he went to his people and said, Did you not promise God to be steadfast in your faith until you will be granted the eternal bliss? Do you want God's anger to destroy you because of your disobedience and false vows and promises you gave me and his greatness? People said, We did not want to deviate from the path you and your God had shown us, but it was not our own choice. If Samaritan had not encouraged us to follow him and had not insisted that it was the same path you were showing us, we would have been steadfast in the way of God. The Israelites, who were remorseful of their deeds, sought forgiveness of God, and Samaritan was afflicted with a painful torment from God. Moses threw his golden calf into the sea, and this way he destroyed even the signs of that sin. <laughs> <laughs>